So just I thought that I've seen everything that there is to see on TikTok, I have now came across something that, even when I'm recording this video right now, I still don't really understand. And it's something called NPC Live or AI Live, and yeah, as you can tell, don't have a fucking clue. But it is literally taking over the app right now. I can't scroll on the For You page for more than like four posts before seeing one of these live streams. Like, I can't escape it. Now, if you are fortunate enough to not come across these live streams before, then you might be very confused as to what I'm going on about. So let me just explain for you. So it is a form of content that has been made very popular recently by this person in particular called Pinky Doll Real. They have 462,000 followers. And I think the best way to show you guys what type of content she does is to show you. So let's take a look at a YouTube compilation that she has uploaded herself, okay? These are the moments that she thinks are her best bits. Oh, that, that, that was it. That, that was it for that clip. That was, um... A really good moment. To me, it just seemed like she was having a hard trouble breathing, but I guess there was something else to it. <laughs> I'm sorry. I feel like I'm losing my mind right now. You know when you watch episodes of Black Mirror and you're like, oh, I wonder if the world could ever be like that one day. But then you kind of check yourself and you're like, oh, no, it's not going to go that bad. Well, it seems like we're approaching it very quickly because every time I go on TikTok right now, I have to question if I'm the only human that's still alive on this planet. <laughs> Oh, okay, right, my AirPod has just died, and honestly, that would usually annoy me. I'm very thankful right now. Now, unfortunately, this is my job, so I do have to put the other one to carry on with this video, but that was a well-needed break. So yeah, let me add some context to this. Basically, TikTokers are going on live stream and acting like they're... AI or NPCs out of a video game, you know? They're acting like robots, essentially. They're not acting like humans, they're just acting like this. And you might be wondering, why on earth are they doing this? And the answer is, they're earning a ridiculous amount of money. Because the only things they say during these live streams is when people donate something on TikTok, and the way donations work on TikTok is it doesn't just pop up saying, oh, you've been donated $5. It's usually like an emoji or like a cowboy hat or something like that. And whenever someone donates one of these like emojis or whatever, which are worth money, the person on the live stream will act out an action that they do for that specific emoji. It sounds ridiculous, doesn't it? But like I said, these people are earning ridiculous amounts of money, and Pinky Doll in particular is apparently earning thousands per live stream. She makes an estimated between two and four thousand dollars for every single stream that she does. Two to four thousand dollars a live stream. Now, I don't know if these numbers are 100% accurate, right? That's quite a big range, but still, even if it's fucking half of that, I don't care. That is mental. Is this what I've been missing? Is this what I need to do to grow my channel? Would people prefer me more if I just act like a fucking robot? I mean, this is the way they act when someone donates. And bear in mind, every time she's speaking here, it's someone new donating. It's every second. Yes, yes, yes. Hee ha, yes. You got me feeling like a cowgirl in your reddies. DG, yes. Wow, motorsport. Ooh. Golly, you're so sexy. I genuinely feel like I'm on acid. And on that note, please subscribe. Yes, yes, please subscribe. Feeling like a cowboy? Yes, yes, subscribe. Please. <laughs> yeah, maybe this whole acting like AI thing isn't for me because I felt extremely uncomfortable doing that. In fact, it's actually knocked me a bit sick that I even attempted that. But apparently it's for a lot of people because since Pinky Doll has been doing this content and earning a ridiculous amount of money, a lot of other people have joined in. Thank you for the roses. <laughs> Yum! Thank you. Smell the roses. Thank you, Jason Waterfall. Honestly, I find it hard enough to, like, explain to strangers what my job is currently. Imagine if I was doing stuff like this. I would have to keep it a secret. Chili. <sighs> Chili. <sighs> Thank you for the roses, baby. <laughs> what the fuck? I don't want to hate on them, right? Because they're doing their own thing, right? They can do whatever the fuck they want. But I just don't get it. Hey, thanks for the, hey, thanks for the, hey, thanks for the rose. I tell you what, right? Whatever this type of content is, I feel like he does it quite well. Now, I'm not sure if that's saying much, you know, with the competition that we're talking about here, but he kind of seemed like an AI, right? God, is this what my channels became? I'm now judging people and how well they can be AI. What is going on here? But back to Pinky Doll, because there has actually been quite a bit of drama going on with Pinky Doll recently, which I believe that she's kind of just doing to promote her OnlyFans. I mean, there you go. She also has an OnlyFans, by the way, which completely unrelated to what I'm about to say, but the fact that she does OnlyFans and she does this type of content on TikTok, which I assume is a way to promote her OnlyFans, I believe that the people who do watch Pinky Doll's live streams probably like it in like a, like, I don't know, like a fetishy way. 
Is that a word? Which, if that is the case, I think it's only a matter of time that we do get taken over by robots. Because they can do everything. People are now getting off to robots, which is a mad sentence. But yeah, getting back to the drama with Pinky Doll, this actually happened a couple of weeks ago where someone actually started leaking posts from her OnlyFans, which is a very fucked up thing to do, first of all, right? But second of all, when you actually watch this video from Pinky Doll, it's a bit like... I how do I explain this? I mean, we'll look through it and you'll get your own opinions, but I feel like this video of her, like, being angry about this fact is maybe just a way to promote the OnlyFans videos more. Maybe I'm jumping to conclusions here, but we'll listen to what she has to say. Someone just exposed my things for free on the net. Like, why would you do that? Waste your time, your energy, and your money. You buy my things and you put it on the web. Sorry, this is actually her talking normally, I believe, right now, and she still sounds like a robot. But yeah, in all seriousness, this is obviously a fucked up situation, you know, like people leaking this type of content this is what a lot of people actually have to deal with. But let's listen to what she has to say next. All right, pink it all real, link it. And there's a lot of page, not one, two, three, there's a lot of page. Okay, so she's just told people exactly where to find it, by the way. She said, if you do search pinky doll leaked, or leakhead, I think she said, you'll actually find the videos, which I think is a bit of like, not the smartest thing to do, right? If you don't want people to see it. But it carries on from here with multiple videos of Pinky Doll telling people where to find this stuff. I was reading the comments and someone say, there's 12 Twitter out here with my stuff on it. All my stuff on it for free. I mean, yeah, maybe I am looking too much into this, but she just said there's a bunch of Twitter accounts where you can go and see the content for free. So it does seem like she's just telling people where to find this stuff. And I'm not the only person who maybe thinks this because the top comment of this video says, LMIO, this is a funny attempt to get more customers, I'm sure. And by the way, if this is just like a market employee and she's want to get more customers this way, then fair play to her because it's fucking clearly working. I mean, if we just go on her TikTok account right now, look at the views she's getting. Most of these have over a million views at least. Some have like 4 million views. Like, it's working. So I'm asking people if you have any links to any page possible, please send it to me on my Snapchat. I will respond to everybody today. Yeah, so now she's like telling her viewers to find the links for her and like send them to her. So I don't know, maybe it is a whole like marketing strategy and she's done this by like acting like an NPC on live, which I've got to say is very unique. But it's genius, because it's clearly working. But yeah, I've got to say, one of my favourite parts about these live streams that have been going around is that the NPC sometimes breaks character when they have to, like, speak to someone else in the room. Like, in this video of Pinky Doll, speaking to her kid, I believe, and the dog. And it's just funny trying to watch it switch between NPC and human. Yes, popcorn. Yes, it Hey, leave the dog alone. Yes, strong <laughs> Yes, yes, yes. But am I the only one who was amused by this? Thank you for the galaxy. I got your name. Well, a lot of gift for you. Balloon. Arrête! Catch Gracie! Oh, special. I mean, impressive, right? She can go from NPC to human, but also from English to... I want to say French. You know, I was kind of taking the piss earlier, saying this is a very strange type of content and it takes no effort, but she's a genius. She's smarter than me. She's switching between, like, four characters. Fair enough. Cash, je n'ai pas ta chambre. Non. C'est signifiant, qu'est-ce que tu fais? Vraiment, c'est signifiant. Gang, gang. Oh, I shouldn't find this as funny as I do. I have no idea what she was saying, but she didn't sound happy, and then she went straight to gang gang, and I've got to respect that. But yeah, it's not the usual type of drama we see on this channel by any means, but uh, yeah, I just found it very amusing, to say the least, you know? This is what is blowing up on TikTok right now. I have no idea what the type of content is going to be that blows up next, because it is getting stranger every time a new trend comes up. But yeah, let me know your thoughts. Is anyone watching this? And if you are, please let me know why. Like, not even in a dickish way, just let me know what is the appeal here. Why do people watch it? And, uh, yeah, I'm gonna leave the video here. So if you did enjoy, please do a like down below, subscribe if you are new, and until the next one, I'll see you guys in a bit, alright? Goodbye.